Hello, Sin Chow from Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon, the largest city in all of Vietnam, with the most motorbikes on the road in all of the world. Ho Chi Minh City is divided into 24 districts, with District 1 being the most visited. In this video, we'll explore the biggest market in Ho Chi Minh City, take you to see some of the iconic architecture along the way, sip a nice coffee, a cafe apartment, and experience the nightlife in Bui Vien Walking Street. Good morning from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, which is also known as Saigon by locals. The city is huge. It has a population of 9 million and it's divided into 24 districts. We're in District 1 and what you see and do really does depend on the amount of time that you have. If you're limited with time and you only have one day, well, that's what we're going to help you with in this video. We've got a full day's itinerary planned to show you Ho Chi Minh City, District 1. Because it's a sunny day, we've decided just to explore the city by foot. But there's a few other options available. If you want to save time, you can rent a bicycle. You can also download the Grab app and you can get a Grab motorbike taxi or jump in a taxi. But the first stop, just over here now, we're about to pop into Ben Tan Market, which is one of the busiest markets in all of Ho Chi Minh City. Once you're in Ben Tan Market, you can find over 1,000 vendors selling a wide range of products. If you're looking for a gift to take home for one of your family or friends, there's a good chance you'll find it inside this market. First impressions, the Bentan market, it's not overcrowded, it's really well organised and today there's not too many people here and there's a huge range of items available. Let's have a look and see what we can find. We've just spent about 20 minutes inside the market and there's all sorts. There's bags, t-shirts, souvenirs, ceramics, you name it, there's pretty much everything. But make sure you've got your bargaining head on. I asked for the price for a bag and I was told that it was 500. Just checking the price and when I was walking away, the lady said, sir, sir, if you buy the bag now, it's only 400. So it's perfectly acceptable for you to try and bargain and get a lower price when you're inside this market. Okay, thank you. Just check it No, I was just checking the price. Pizza. Pizza. Oh no, I just have a look. Thank you. Thank you. There's a little bit hot, and but there are a few fans dotted around. But I'm starting to feel a little bit sweaty. You'll probably notice though, once you're inside the market, it does get quite hot uh, because there's no air conditioning inside there. If you go first thing in the morning, I've heard it's not as busy. But if you go say mid afternoon at a time that we were there it's probably going to be a little bit hot because of the amount of people that are in there. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, that, I like that colour. Thank you. Is something else for yourself? Oh, no, thank you. No. Are you from Philippines? Ah, uh, from Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> you know the good bargain, though. Why? <laughs> You didn't ask you know, for the discount. Normally, <laughs> like this one, I can charge a more meat than a million. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like, now, you just do not sure to buy, and you want to ask the price, oh, and okay. they say the best of price one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you accept three fifty? <laughs> no. Because I don't charge too high price. Okay. And this one, normally, I can say a million five hundred something. I can charge so high price. Okay. I can discount a lot. Okay. Yeah. Because I told you, you are the first customer. I charge you only for four hundred. Thank you. Thank you. 
your chains. That's lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for your help. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Well, I wasn't planning on buying anything, but I ended up buying this bag. Not bad, actually. It was 400 dong for this, which is a reasonable price. Once you're finished at the market, you can then walk for about one kilometre, 12 to 15 minutes, to see some of the most iconic landmarks, such as the Notre Dame Cathedral, the Central Post Office and Brook Street. We're going to walk there now. Let's have a look. After you've done some shopping, you'll probably be feeling a little bit hungry. We certainly were. We went online and we found a shop which claims to be selling the best banh mi in all of Ho Chi Minh City. We're getting a banh mi, which is probably one of the most famous dishes in all of Vietnam. And it's, uh, it's a baguette and it's filled with something such as pork or chicken and some patty, some vegetables. It's delicious, but apparently this one is famous. 62,000 Vietnamese dong, but I've heard that it's huge. This banh mi shop only does takeaway and there's often a long line of people waiting outside. We picked up the banh mi and headed to the park to see whether it lives up to this claim of being the best banh mi in all of Ho Chi Minh City. I couldn't say it's the best banh mi but the taste is quite nice to compare with the other banh mi that we had before. Taste similar. But I think this restaurant being famous among the people, that's because they give you a lot of uh, stuff inside. Many sausages, and they give you the additional vegetable, the big pack. If you like to eat more vegetable, you can put as much as you can. You definitely can't miss Central Post Office. It's a huge yellow building. Just behind me, you can see it now. Really impressive building. You can go inside there and if you want to grab a few postcards, it still does function as a post office. So you can send postcards back to your friends or your family. There's also a lot of souvenirs in there as well, so if you want to do a little bit more shopping, you probably don't after if you've just been to Bentan Market, but if you do fancy buying something else, you can do a bit more shopping inside there. And just over here, we're right next to Notre Dame Cathedral. Unfortunately, it's under restoration at the moment. It was expected to reopen in 2023. But recent news that I've just read, that's been extended and it's not due to open now until 2027. Right next to the cathedral, you can find a street which is about 100 meters long called Book Street. Of course, there are several shops here selling a wide range of books but if you want a break from the sunshine you can sit down here and grab yourself a cup of coffee you also might find a few places selling artwork or handicrafts postcards and there might be a pop-up exhibition happening at the time when you visit Right then, are you ready to do a little bit more exploring? Once you've had your coffee, you can head southeast towards the river. On the way to the river, you can walk through one of the most famous tourist places in all of Ho Chi Minh City, which is Nguyen Hue Walking Street. It's known to be one of the most beautiful and modern squares in all of Vietnam. Expect to see five-star hotels, luxury fashion brands, lots of high-rise buildings and it gives you a very western feel. You can also stop to take a photograph of the 7.2 meter high bronze statue of President Ho Chi Minh, also known as Uncle Ho. The statue symbolizes the lasting affection and respect Vietnamese people have for their founding father. 
There's a block of apartments in this area which are known now as cafe apartments. They were built in the 1960s and this building really stands out from the rest of the street because everything else looks so modern. But in there you can find a range of cafes, coffee shops, restaurants, you can go and have a manicure and there are people living in there. You can walk up or you can take the lift to each floor but as you walk up it has a strange feeling as it almost feels in some respects like a derelict building. As soon as you cross the road and you see the river in front of you and you enter Riverside Walk, the energy changes and you just suddenly feel a lot calmer and a lot more peaceful. Be careful when you're trying to cross the road because the traffic in Ho Chi Minh is very busy. hours later. You have to go slow when you're crossing the road and first I was hesitating and then not knowing what to do but obviously the people on the bikes if I hesitate they hesitate and that's what caused an accident but now I've realized just go slow get eye contact with the driver pay attention stop when you need to keep going when you need to and the bikes they they understand what you're doing and they just maneuver and stop and move around you. Once the sun goes down, if you've still got energy left and you want to keep on exploring, you can head to Bui Vien Walking Street. This walking street is 600 metres long and it's in the heart of District 1. It's lined with restaurants, coffee shops, hotels, pubs and bars. A lot of tourists often compare Bui Vien Street to Khao San Road in Bangkok and it's sometimes called Khao San Saigon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.